Donington Park was the venue for the final three rounds of the Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship of Great Britain. The full Grand Prix circuit in use, Eric Lichtenstein on pole for race one, Antti Burry second on the grid, his teammate Julio Moreno lined up third. As the lights went out, Lichtenstein made the best start to head the pack down towards Redgate. A good start by Luke Williams put him third ahead of Moreno, but Antti Burry lay second despite the attack from Williams on the inside heading into the first corner. All Burry needed to do to take the championship was bring the car home and that meant he was going to spend most of the 18 minutes of the race just keeping out of trouble. Up front, Luke Williams made his bid for the lead at the Melbourne hairpin. He went through, but he locked up and ran wide. That gave Lichtenstein the advantage back once again, with Burry running in third place as the cars headed up towards Goddard's. Breaking for the left-hander, Burry headed teammate Julio Moreno, as up front, Eric Lichtenstein was looking for an 11th victory of the season. Behind him lay Williams. Third was Burry as they came across the timing line, and then fourth it was Julio Moreno. Williams, though, had yet more dramas to add to his miserable season. The car suddenly lost power coming out of the old hairpin, and he coasted towards the end of the lap, only to park the car and become a spectator. Up front, Jake Cook attacked Antti Burry for second place, and Burry wasn't prepared to get involved in any incident and risk any damage and not scoring points. He let Cook go through. Jake, in turn, set off in pursuit of his teammate, Eric Lichtenstein, as Burry then had Julio Moreno tucked up behind him in third and fourth places. In the Juracek class, Fabian Welter led George Blundell, the two of them running nose to tail. Blundell made his move, diving in towards Goddard's. He took over the class lead, but straight away, Welter was back on his case. The two of them came out of Goddard's side by side, but George Blundell stood his ground on the inside, heading down towards Redgate, and that inside line for the next right-hander was enough to give him the class lead back once again. Blundell turned through the right-hander. He fended off the Mexican driver, who just would not go away. The two ran nose to tail down towards the Melbourne hairpin at the end of the lap. Welter lining up to have a go on the inside. He break for the corner, and there was contact. Two touch, Blundell spun, and they got away with very little damage. Welter carried on to win the class on the road. George Blundell chased him home. For Eric Lichtenstein, though, it was yet another outright win at yet another circuit at which he'd never raced before. He came out of Goddard's, sprinted up towards the timing line, and it was victory to Eric Lichtenstein and the Jamin Racing team. Through behind him in second place over the line, it was Jake Cook, Julio Moreno third. Kevin Corcoran back in the championship now in a self-run car was fourth, but fifth was enough to give Antti Burry the title as he coasted over the line. A delighted Finn, a delighted team, JTR guiding its man to the Dunlop MSA Formula 4 Championship of Great Britain title. Race two had Lichtenstein on pole position, but with Antti Burry now having no pressure on him from second on the grid, he was after race wins. The cars accelerated off down towards Redgate for the first time. Ryan Cullen in the body of the field looking to try to move past Kevin Corcoran. He challenged on the outside as they went into Redgate, as up front it was Lichtenstein who led, and Luke Williams looking for a way past Antti Burry. Williams couldn't make the move stick going down through the Craner curves. At the end of the lap, though, Ryan Cullen was under pressure from Julio Moreno, who tried to cut across going into the Melbourne hairpin. There was contact. Moreno got launched. Williams attacked for the race lead as well, coming through Goddard. But he and Lichtenstein touched. Lichtenstein got airborne and spun, wiped out Williams, broke the suspension of his teammate. Williams was out on the spot. Lichtenstein limped to the pit lane. A livid Williams clambered out of the car, gesticulating furiously at his teammate, but the surviving Jamin car of Jake Cook was involved in a lead battle with Antti Burry. They touched at Redgate, Burry ran wide over the grass, hooked a wheel or two into the gravel, lost a load of pace and got back onto the circuit. But the thin wasn't done yet. In the Juratec class, Welter led Blundell as they turned their way through Goddard's. The non-point scoring guest class car of Jason down behind them, and then Matt Rao, whose consistent year had brought him into contention to win the class in the championship. Blundell attacked Welter on the outside line going down towards Redgate. As they turned into the corner, the Brit went past the Mexican. Down through Hollywood they went. George Blundell trying to edge away as up front the lead battle was about to come to a head. Antti Burry had got himself past Jake Cook, but then they touched. Burry spun, Cook went through the gravel and over the grass. They both continued, although there was damage to Burry's car and he retired. Jake Cook survived it all. He came out in the race lead and hung on to take a second win of the year.
It had been a good recovery by Bury after his trip through the gravel at Redgate. It was a disappointing way to end his championship year as Jason Down was out at Schwantz Curve. So Jake Cook came through to score win number two of the season. He powered his way up over the start and finish line as Jake Cook won at Donington Park. Second went the way of Cavan Corcoran, a return to the championship in a self-run car, and Ryan Cullen took third ahead of the recovered Julio Moreno, with George Blundell and Fabian Welter taking fifth and sixth. But Matt Rowe, third in class, had done enough on points to win the Duratec class in the championship. At the end of the season, George Blundell would take a second race win in the Duratec division. Fabian Welter had 13 wins to his name, Matt Rowe had four, and it was the Brit who came through as the champion. George Blundell left Donington as a race winner. There should have been one more race at Donington. Sadly, after delays early on in the day in the timetable, there was neither the time in the day nor the light left in the day to run a third race. It meant, therefore, that the championship was decided after just the two, with Antti Bury secure as the overall champion ahead of Jake Cook second, Eric Lichtenstein third after 11 wins and Julio Moreno fourth from Cavan Corcoran and Ryan Cullen. But the biggest surprise came in the Juratec class. Despite all of Fabian Welter's winning, on drop scores, he fell six points behind Matt Rao. George Blundell took third, Alex Travel fourth ahead of Abdul Ahmed and Oli Ray at the end of an all-action season of Formula Ford.